What we're looking at here is one of a homeowner's worst nightmares. I mean, it truly is. The water from the sidewalk and the driveway is going to drain right into the garage. And I would imagine that there has to be some type of a drainage system in the garage. There is no way that, uh, that, that you could get away with not having something in there to drain the water out. And of course the water would have to go into the backyard unless there was a sump pump in the garage floor somewhere that pumped the water um, somewhere else. Now, what's the worst problem with something like this? If the drain was ever to plug um, or if the sump, pl sump pump ever stopped working. So whenever you run into a situation like this and you're going to build, build a house and you don't have a choice, um, maybe you can build it to where the water will drain into the backyard naturally. Get some type of a um, drainage system that works naturally or at least as a backup. So you could always have a sump pump at a certain level and then if the sump pump ever failed to pump the water out and, and the water did rise in this garage, it would only rise to about, um, let's just say, a maximum of four or five inches and then it would drain out somewhere um, into the backyard or um, somewhere else. I mean, this is not good here. The water from the sidewalk, this sidewalk goes around the corner. This house was located on a, on a corner lot and the rest of the sidewalk drains for, for 10, 15 houses up the street. So I can't even imagine how much water um, ends up in this garage here. And, and even a, a speed bump, if you think about it, a speed bump um, at the front of the driveway there would at least avert all of the water from the sidewalk down um, into somebody else's property, of course, you know. So again, this, uh, you know, there are a couple things you can do in a situation like this. Speed bump would be would be a definite win-win here. And of course, when you, you're planning on designing a house and you're in a situation like this, maybe you should try to figure out a way to either raise the driveway or eliminate it um, altogether. So this is not something that is is a good design. And of course, this house is was probably built in the early 1900s. So you know they they didn't have the information you guys have. Take advantage of it.